Spaghetti Mario. Yes, sir. Boom, boom, boom. Yes, sir. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up? What's up, everyone? How you doing? How everyone feeling? You know the vibrations already. It's mad, mad on demand. Got done recording the Q and A. Just got done uh, editing it. Even thank you for sending in in all any and all of your questions. If I didn't get to yours or if you didn't hear me say yours, that just means that someone else asked a question that was really similar to it or just wanted the same answer. And uh, I still appreciate it a hundred percent. So yeah, first question is biggest inspo for that i'll just have to give it give all the credit to my upbringing and uh how much music i've consumed like growing up because most of the inspiration that i have or inspiration that comes from is just the music that i listen to and the people who i really um uh, idolize so uh, my biggest inspiration has to be uh my aunt okay it's not my uncle but um he's one of my parents like best friends back when uh back in the day when they used to live on uh gong side this is like way 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 back like i was two years old i would always like go over to the house since i was so interested in the piano so uh i'd go and like fiddle around with it mess mess around with it and when i wouldn't like what i'm doing i'd call him to play you know just uh you know how kids be yeah so that's um uh, i think that's my biggest inspiration but uh um if we're talking like uh people who i look up to probably like um that's a lot that's a lot stevie wonder um Travis scott drake um justin timberlake scissor uh man tin pala so many people i can't even i can't even like begin to start telling you how many people inspire me like even even my my brother inspires me to, like so many people so many people inspire me what made you really want to do the whole music career i just wanted to be able to express myself because i was really in a, i was in a bad place okay not really a bad place i'm privileged to say that that was a bad place i just didn't want to be in the school that i was in so i was acting out and shit biggest upset to you personally that made you second guess going on Whoa! <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. So, let me tell you. Let me tell you. So, uh back in 2015. Damn. Wow, that's oof, Yo, what? Back in 2015. I just, okay, 2014, I think. 2014, 2015. Around that time. That era. Martin Garrix had just blown up, right? So, at that time, like that was the, he was a guy. He was young and he had like one song out and it blew up like crazy. At the time that I also wanted to make dance music or like make idm since you know he's never got his bread up idm bro this is something me i can do uh i started doing it but then the thing was my shit was trash it was so ass it was so bad it was so bad it was the worst so you see since it since it was really bad or like since it was since it was as bad as it was what i had to do is like learn a lot because in idm the work that goes into producing is so so much like it is a lot if you're not if you don't have the stomach for it which i did you're not gonna be able to keep going if, it, if you're not good at that shit you're gonna need to have to get good at it and i didn't realize that so like i didn't really like get down to doing it as good as i should have it really took like a big hiatus that's when i started doing like youtube and stuff but if you guys like that's a whole other thing you guys are never going to find those videos you're never going to find them you're never going to find them they're public but you'll never find them only my friends know like my friends who knew me when i was making when i was making youtube videos know that those exist only after that when i moved now to the school that i didn't want to be in uh to high school when i moved into like traditional high school because i was already like in high school but i was in igcse and i was in like like i was basically like a freshman over there so he hadn't really cemented yet by the time that i moved so when i moved you know the whole thing for me not really wanting to be there because it was my decision and all that uh, i started writing poetry which like really turned into music because like i wasn't i was nice with the poetry because like i was doing that in uh, ig but then it was more melodic especially of the time like the time at the time it was like in a little yati blowing up okay in a little was blowing up so like when i started she got really good you know had traction had traction that 2018 comes around 
you know i drop like a song song for real i work with dark you know we, we run that shit up da, 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 da. and i'm seeing the guys aren't guys aren't really fucking with me like the way any people be fucking with me and i'm like yo why why are niggas fucking with me and i do and like i'm i'm way hotter than all these other niggas and like i'm like i'm way better than all the, all, the, all these other niggas who are coming out with a song that took them like 10 minutes to do and sounds fucking atrocious so i was just really complacent and now I, I was like yo yo this shit doesn't matter like it is not fucking cool anymore like it's not fun because if i'm going to keep doing this and people are loving me then what's the point see like even saying that right now it sounds stupid but that's really how i felt at the time those are those are the two biggest things those are the two biggest things for me how long have you been doing this since you guys have heard me talking a lot about uh 2015 that's basically when i started then stopped 2015 focused on school then 2017 to now source of motivation other than fans it's just not really like a pride thing but it's kind of a pride thing because i just want to be happy for myself and be proud of myself yeah that's it i just want to make myself happy also i make myself proud but i really want to be able to do anything i want like when i have it because i have a lot of big ideas if i'm able to go out and make those ideas happen as easily as i think them up that would be like amazing our main goals in life i think main goals would tie you the source of motivation because it's just the same things and you know just being able to reflect and uh be happy and not regret because regret is one of the worst things that anyone can experience because it just steals it steals not only your joy from the present but it also steals your joy from the past because you're not able to see any of the good things that happened back back then instead of seeing the bright side of those bad memories what would you say is the hardest part of getting a song out some songs can come really easily and getting them out is really easy and others are a fucking nightmare others are the worst you don't even want to hear the song once it's out the only reason why you like it after it's out is because fun because the people but at the time at the moment and like objectively i think the hardest part of getting a song out is the rollout like making sure all the businessy stuff is done how old are you are you serious no you're not even serious you're not even serious at how old are you no contest i'm 18 when's the next album coming my guy your music is straight heat thank you thank you and i have no idea okay i don't have no idea it's coming hey way <laughs> i was about to mess myself up for that um but the next album is coming soon soon is is coming it's coming soon uh, i promise i promise it's just a lot of things happening so i have to make sure everyone's everyone's music is coming out when it's supposed to come out make sure all the business stuff is good i have some i have some stuff coming i have some stuff coming i can promise you something very very soon like next couple of months very very soon next couple of months very very soon type stuff Take us to the mad song recording process. All right, listen, listen. All right, listen, listen. Listen, listen. I'm going to make a wager with you guys, yeah? I'm going to make a wager with you guys. If you guys like blast blast this whole Q&A out of proportion, everyone you know knows about it. Everyone you listen to knows about it. And like you guys blast my comments and all that and my DMs. I'll take a whole month vlog like every day make a whole song and all that to make like uh, uh, yo like i'll even make a couple songs i even make more than one that last friday of that month i'll drop the song of the songs and then we can drop the vid- the video for the song the same day and the vlog the same day all three yes, that, now it's up to you it's up to you the, the song the song comes out the like month vlog uh, so that's basically like but behind the scenes you're going to get the song you're going to get the behind the scenes and you're going to get the video for the song sun is down um thank you for watching it just goes to show how much you actually like it so thank you for liking my music that's something i can't even say but uh, yeah if you enjoy tell me you enjoyed if you didn't tell me what i can improve on and if you want the song run up the video Thank you. I love you guys so so much. And this is Mads. I'm